Good morning, YouTubers, friends, and family across the world. Welcome to September 3rd, 2017. Thank you for joining me today. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. And we've got some major events here unfolding in North Korea. Uh, the 6.3 earthquake. There's actually a hydrogen bomb being tested off by our by the North Korean crazy leader Kim Jong-un testing off a very powerful hydrogen bomb producing a 6.3 earthquake of course Trump condemns looking at already putting more sanctions on North Korea um, pretty scary times we're living in folks uh, I hope you guys are already prepared uh, it's a lot of things are unfolding. Um, if you're noticing here, we're looking at uh, quite a few earthquakes. Uh, we're having an uh, earthquake swarm in Yellowstone. Uh, seismologists, geologists have been warning that uh, we could have an awakened Yellowstone volcano. Uh, when we see a 5.3 in Idaho, which is about 100 miles south, of Yellowstone Park. Makes you wonder. And look at all these aftershocks and precursors. So this is the last two days, folks. And I'm not here to scare everybody, but you know what? I'm kind of scared right now. Um, I, I try not to fear anything in this world. The universe has a plan for everybody. But God bless you all, and thank God we are survivors and we are here to be able to share this research and share our love and our knowledge with everybody worldwide. And hopefully, um, we can share something with the Koreans and teach them something. Uh, probably not likely, but it's a sad world that they live in over there. <clears throat> Sorry, I feel a little somber today. This is kind of a freaky thing. Um, I think hydrogen bomb being tested like that by North Korea is, uh, is a big deal. So, again, God bless you all and thank you for joining me. We are survivors here on another 24 hours on our mother planet Earth. As long as we don't destroy it, we'll be here tomorrow too. So, here we are. Hurricane Irma, heading west, southwest, now heading to Haiti and the Jamaican, and the Jamaica, sorry, and the Caribbean. So, as I had predicted, it is going to hit the Caribbean and then head straight north along the eastern seaboard of the United States. You can see another large low pressure system developing in front of it. Yeah, so that will keep it down. But their projected models right now is a Category 4 when it hits the Haitian Islands, Cuba. So please, everybody stay aware. Take heed. Take these warnings as a necessity uh, to get away from this storm. This is going to be a doozy. Category 3. Category 4 when it makes landfall. Also watching... Uh, this is remnants of Typhoon Sanvu. Now, this is a very large, still a very large low pressure. Uh, it is no longer a typhoon, they're saying, but it is an area of interest because they are keeping an eye on it because it is a very large low, uh, heading straight into eastern Russia, and then to where I had predicted a few days ago, Sanvu will be hitting the Alaskan Peninsula. So watch for an, an uptick in seismicity in Alaska and all along the western coast of North America. Uh, we already were already looking at an earthquake swarm in, of course, Idaho. So here's remnants of Sanvu, heading into eastern Kamchatka, and in Russia, 
and then over to Alaska. We're looking at remnants of Marwar as well. We'll be heading on a north-northeast track. And then also watching this large developing low here in the middle of the Pacific Ocean heading west, straight west. Satellite imagery of Lydia, which is now a tropical depression, or sorry, uh, a low, uh, still an area of interest for meteorologists. And you can hear, you can see Hurricane Irma churning over the last couple days, heading west, uh, large low pressure in front of it developing. You can see it get eaten, swallowed up there, and then kind of grows does a disappearing act. So the Atlantic Ocean is very hectic right now and also the West Pacific as they're still dealing with a lot of monsoon rains. Uh, it's some crazy times we're living in folks. You need to stay aware and I, that's why Morning Dew is here for you. Daily events worldwide. And I post severe weather analysis and disaster alerts from around the world. I do what I do. I love our Mother Earth and I research every day. So we're also watching the latest developing flare in um, on Alaska 2 image here. We'll get a better image. Yeah. And we wait as everything catches up. And maybe we won't. But anyways, there was a flare overnight on the sun. Uh, it was not Earth directed, so no major filament heading towards Earth. But there was a quite a filament rip, and you can see a lot of plasma discharge out the west side here. As we roll over onto second and third. Just let this play out and watch and I want to thank you all for watching today all my new subscribers welcome to morning Dew daily events worldwide where I post videos every day on major events that are happening on Mother Earth and with my knowledge and my research I'm able to share it with all of you this is what I would do every day nonetheless and now I just put it into video so that everybody else can see here we go so there's the flare filament eruption see a lot of the plasma discharge, large chunks heading out, but it was not earth directed. If it was earth directed, you'd see a wave of energy go all the way around this circle here. This covers the sun. If there's a wave all the way around, then that would mean that that CME is heading our way. So it is not, thank the Lord. So this is what we're keeping track of, folks. Hurricane Irma, still watching Typhoon Sanvu, area of interest, Lydia, Marwar, and also the developing political situation in our world that is actually affecting us geographically, causing a 6.3 earthquake in North Korea. be interesting to see what happens here, what unfolds through September. Here's the last five days as we go through our autumn and into winter and also with our planetary alignments coming up. It should be an interesting one. I want to thank you all for watching today. This has been Mike with your Morning Dew. Stay young. Have fun. Get your morning dew.